Hi, I'm Shinny Somara and I'm a mechanical engineer. Engineering is all about finding new solutions to all kinds of engineering problems, like new ways of generating energy, or even exploring space, or trying to figure out how to make light bulbs last longer. Now, how do you use something as simple as cardboard to teach you a thing or two about engineering? Well, we're challenging you to use it to build a boat. Yep, a real boat and one that floats. In fact, we want your design to be strong enough to float whilst carrying a bag of sugar. Boats come in all different shapes and sizes. The world's biggest cruise liner weighs 227,000 tonnes, carries over 6,500 passengers and has 23 swimming pools on board. So how can something this big still be made to float? Well, for an object to float, the density of the object must be less than the density of water being displaced. So Andy, how do we solve this problem? Okay, well we're going to start with a simple principle of buoyancy. Here I have a potato and an orange. One of these will float and one of them is going to sink. There we go, the potato sinks. And that's because fundamentally this object is far more dense than the orange. If you were to cut through the orange, you'd find lots of little air cavities and juice, which makes it less dense and therefore it doesn't sink. Okay, so how does that relate to cardboard? Well, in our cardboard designs, we need to think about these buoyancy principles and make the boat less dense. You've got a paperboard there with a large surface area. I do. I've got a slightly different design, but this is the point. We need to try out all these different options. So this has a much bigger surface area, doesn't exactly. it? Exactly, so let's see what happens. Well, hey Presto, they both float. With a larger surface area, it'll tend to hold more weight. So why don't we take a look and see what Andy's done, because I think he's taken it to the next level. Okay, thank you. Hi Andy, wow, that looks beautiful. Thank you. So yeah, what we've gone for here is a sort of speedboat design, so we can try and put a bit more weight on it. And what we've also done is put a bit of PV glue over it, so it's nice and waterproof. It looks really glossy. Yeah. <laughs> but does it float is the question. Let's find out. Ooh, lovely. Yeah, it sits nicely on the surface of the water. So how does it do with weight? Have you tried it? Not yet, so should we find out? Yeah. Place this weight on here. Gosh, so that's sitting really low in the water, isn't it? It's quite dangerous. It is, isn't it? Looking like it's uh, about to go there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, here we oh, go. No. Oh, no. It seems like you need to tweak the design by having more depth. Yeah, I think so. So I think Robin's actually got that to show you now. OK. Well done, though. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Hi, Robin. So, yeah, so as Andy said, this is the next boat design that we've done. Um, and as you can see, it's got a much bigger hull. Yeah. I mean, lots of surface area, but also depth which was what made the last boat fail. Yeah, so definitely. So the last boat was kind of designed around taking inspiration from a speedboat, whereas this one's much more focused on kind of like a cruise liner, which you can imagine takes a lot more weight. So potentially more robust, but will it float? Should we test it? Yeah, let's go for it. Okay, so first bag of sugar, which is what Andy's boat held. Yeah, so as we can see, it floats. So you've passed the challenge already, but I think we should push it a bit further. Definitely. So, we've got another bag of sugar here, ready to go. Let's try it out. Ooh, that is very close. Very right close. Right on the edge. It. Yeah. What's really interesting is that there are so many scientific principles going on here, but you don't necessarily need to understand them in full, do you? No, definitely not. I mean, I loved science at school. However, I think that I really learned through just trying things out, making things and seeing if they worked. So you can pass this challenge with a bit of experimentation. Exactly. So are you ready to take on the challenge? We've created some useful information to help you. Just go to our website and download the challenge card. Once you've proved that your design really works, take a photo of your boat floating with the correct weight on board and share it with us. Get downloading now. We can't wait to see what you come up with.